Hello, one that shall never end. Today, I'm here with my little friend. I brought it yesterday. This is our daily guide program. If you have watched my program, you will see most of my shorts having cats and dogs. I keep them and they've been very, very wonderful. For the fact that I am using them, well, unfortunately, in our own African land, we have this mentality that cats are I use my witches. I do not know that. The dogs are not good. I do not know that dogs and cats are pets for the house. I will tell you why I am showing you these pets. Now, why I kept these pets is that they have taught me a lot of things. I have received a lot of help from them. So I take them to the, to the fields in the morning and then try to see the leaves they eat for their well-being. <laughs> It will surprise you. Even some herbs that I know from the Google text, yes, Jesus Christ used the saliva and the mud to cure the eyes of a man. I will made a piece of the saliva. I put it in this man's eye, the blind man's eye, and asked him, are you seeing well now? So I'm seeing a little, and later I said, yeah, I can see well, very well, very well, very well. Herbs are natural things God has given to us. In order to effectively heal us, we say that the scripture says that healing comes from the most high God. I have to know some herbs through them, and I was lucky I bought it or the the dog and the cat it was for YouTube shots. But I see that people love pets. So I bought them and I trained them. I've been able to train the cat and the dog to live together. So people wonder these days, how are you able to do it? Today, <laughs> they come to my house, they see my pets eating together. I will give you some clips how to eat together, how they play together, and after now, I will show you the clips. Now, you watch very well. When you watch very well, you understand that these things, they live without any medicine. So when you follow them, they will get whatever they are eating. And unknown to me, one day I went to the fields with my cat and my dogs. And while we were there, I saw the cat eating some leaves. One of them is for deworming, which every human being can eat. Another one is for stomach pain. And so I love pets because of the characters they have. I used to have one dog in 1998 to 2003. Judge has a boundary with the police station. And they brought one boy I've been to the police station. And in the process, the police put the boy in the cell. And the boy was feeling the cell. He couldn't do otherwise. And those areas are volatile villages. So when they heard that the boy was fainting, they came from the village to kill the policeman. Luckily for the policeman, the boy was sitting with him and I asked him, how come this boy was fainting? He said, it was your dog that revived this boy. How? He said, while the dog was there with him, I called the dog Shema. While the dog was there with him, the, the boy was lying a place and then the dog, the close to the ankle, dragged the skin. And the boy woke up. That was what happened. But all those who came in cutlass, I stood in between them, guns and cutlass to kill the policeman, saw this boy sitting with the policeman. And that was the story of my dog. 
Very wonderful dog. Unfortunately, they kill the dog. <laughs> Boys are very wonderful. They kill it for their meat. <laughs> so after some time, I started doing my YouTube channel and I decided to, to showcase how to train dogs and cats together, not to live together. I want to do something extraordinary, not extraordinary, in fact. It's not ordinary, in fact. It's not common in our area. So I wanted to tell people that these things are natural things God has given to human beings in order to help mankind. For dogs, they are gatekeepers, they are protectors. For the cat, the cat will go about killing all the reptiles and creatures around the compound, even rats in the house. So many people do keep cats for that purposes. But I kept mine for different purposes. So if you have a cat and a dog, try to go to the bush area, the grassy area, and see what the dog is eating. Try that leaf. You can also eat it as well. So that is how I come to know about some important herbs in this world. So don't reject them. Always love them. If they say they are the mentality of Africans, I just don't understand. I can't understand. Why do we enslave ourselves? <laughs> Telling ourselves dogs are witches and wizards. But they say they are possessed by human beings. They deal with the human being and that possession will not be there. Offense your compound with spiritual things, prayer, backed up with prayer and so on. I'm not going to go and do sacrifice. If you pray every day, God will offense your compound with the blood of Jesus Christ. That is all you need and nobody can tamper with your house. If that is the case we are talking about. So I don't know that, but I want to tell you frankly, my dogs eat together. Dog and cat eat together. I train them together. They don't fight. They are good friends. But I tell you, the cat is the most lovable one. It's very quiet. doesn't look for trouble. When they are eating and then if the dogs are dragging the food, it, the cat will just leave them alone and go and stay somewhere else. We're watching After when they are done with their food, he will go and eat his own part of the food. But cats doesn't eat much. They eat little. So please, today is my daily guide for you. If you want to know about uh, birds, I had a poultry before. So I took them to the grasses and they were eating particular eggs. So they are native, native fowls. When they have laid ash their eggs, after some weeks, I will remove the, the little ones, the chicken, from the mother and keep them in one cage. There may be five or six of them that hatched at the same time. I'm having 23 of the chicken, so I will now nurse them in one cage. Do you know what I give to them? The same leaf mother hen will give to them. I give to them and they survive dates. <laughs> one hour stories. Then I haven't have started my YouTube channel, so I couldn't get those clips, but that was what I did. That leaf they were eating, the mother hen was given to the chicken. My dear brothers and sisters, oh my God, can I reveal it to you? That leaf is a powerful antidote. When you eat anything, and you ask to mark it, go and have that leaf. Oh my God. Yeah, you will tell me now, show us the leaf. <laughs> God of mercy and compassion, you tell me, show us the leaf and let us know. Don't worry. I'm gradually doing the program step by step. The one day you might show them, I might show you the leaf, but you can call me, ring me. And I will be able to show you that leaf. It is everywhere. The mother hen and the cock will eat to survive. Whatever sickness, whatever ailment they are going through. It is a warm leaf. It is antidote for any stomach pain. And, oh my God, these are wonders in the world. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Be following me. I'm Rory Father Pizza Ongo. I will be able to this thing down step by step. And so please, if you don't have dogs or if you are having dogs, or cats in your homes, take that to the to the grassy area and observe the leaves they are eating. They are vital leaves for the well-being of mankind. God bless you and keep fit. Thank you very much. We we'll meet again another time. Please follow me every day. I'm posting every day, so you can follow me on with, on spiritual matters, also on health issues. God bless. You. True Christ, our Lord. Amen.